Mm. Hey guys. Okay. Um. Um. Well. Since my sister opened, um, extended the styling pooch at um at the Strikers Pooch um mall. With the little stores, my three most favorite places to go there has been the pizza place, the bagel shack, and the Chinese. The Chinese is well, the pizza mainly for like the lemonade and the brisk iced tea, and the bagel shack mainly for snacks and. The drinks and sometimes bagel. It used to be bagel cream cheese but now it's bagel egg and bacon as long as they get it right. And Chinese it's basically my favorite my favorite which is pork pork lo mein. and most of all the fortune cookies. I'm basically more excited about those. Because I get very confident when I read most of them. And the past couple of days, I've been getting some very confident ones. There's two here that are my favorites. Um, um, this month. Well, one of this month took out today and one that I got last week from others. Alexa, pause. Um, well anyway, um, I have two very confident fortune group fortunes here. One's from July, one's, I mean August, one is from today. Um, however, sometimes I feel that my confidence drop, um, basically from the people that are literally right in front of me, um, Some of you probably know that I signed up a competition called Face of Horrors, which I'm extremely hooked on, which is something that has nothing to do with dinosaurs. <laughs> Some of you are probably tired of me you know, talking about dinosaurs or posting dinosaurs. <laughs> But anyway, it's something that has nothing to do with dinosaurs. Um, and the voting start, well, at least the first round, which I didn't know it was. In the beginning, when I didn't know it was the first round, I was super happy when I saw my name as number one. And then when I saw it go down, I started losing confidence because I thought this was like the official voting. And the fact that the people I'm going against are these extremely created people like filmmakers, cosplayers, face mask makers, music writers that basically beyond me. Me, um, I'm a small YouTuber, <laughs> kind of not very good at it sometimes. 
but it's something I really like to do when I have the spare time. And I love movies. I'm just not very good at the, you know, explaining details like the YouTubers I watch. They are excellent at explaining details. Although I know some movies that I know full well of details, but mm, I can never be as great as the YouTubers I watch. But I do know that I love movies, like movies, movies, and that my dream is to be in a movie, to experience being in movies. And that's basically what I signed up for. I really want to meet an awesome person, even though, um, Many probably might not find it convincing that I know a lot of horror movies, but I do. It's just not easy for me to remember. Um, but yeah, um, I really am into it. Actually, but honestly, my twin introduced me into it. So, my very first horror movie was Saw and Nightmare on Elm Street, so I do know some, you know, classic and mid-90s, you know, 90s and mid-2000s. So anyway, um, I thought at first I was losing because I thought this was like the official voting. Then, um, when I received this one, do it now, today will be yesterday's tomorrow, yesterday tomorrow, I had a small moment that I should look at the rules because there was this section at the bottom that said first cut. I'm like, why would it say first cut if if it's a voting and then I look and I said and it said voting schedule so I'm like and the first round said top 20 and I'm like oh my god I'm not losing I still have a chance to be in the next round like I still have a chance to to win something, to win and experience something epic. And it literally has nothing to do with the money. Even though the money can be useful, like useful for my sister's sign, the sign and pooch. Seriously, many people have been demanding for it. They have no idea just how expensive things can be, especially for a business, and it can be useful, very helpful for supporting my family and education, not just the education needed for my future dreams, but also the education that I never really got to have. So, even though money is useful in the prize, but I'm basically more excited about meeting Kane Hooter, Hooter and, and the magazine and the two night stay that if I do win, I want to use some of the money to have my family part of the two nights stay at the Buffalo Bill house because I actually don't want to experience that part by myself because I definitely know that my siblings enjoy arcade games I used I did I enjoyed it too when we used to go camping so um so yeah at first, I was kind of losing confidence that I would win, 
I was actually starting to give in that I should actually pay someone to, um, like, feature me or promote me to get me more votes. Although, I was taught throughout my childhood and, cause, well, I'm 90s and also my parents have been taught that and my parents' friends have been taught that and my sibling, my sister, my twin sister's friends have been taught that and I've seen it in movies. They've been taught that you shouldn't be taking the easy way and you shouldn't pay people to get what you want. So like, yeah, so I thought that I shouldn't, I should just do it because I wasn't, the number I was getting is getting, you know, low. But then when I looked, I realized I was winning. I was one of the, I was still winning. And that boosted my confidence. Like, I was happy. And it actually boosted my confidence in, um, wanted to express my horror movie side. Like, um, I hardly had a chance to ever express it because, well, most horror movies, um, I can't handle. I'm not saying I can't handle because it's gory. Um, I didn't want him to say it because I feel like it will lose my chances of winning, but I feel like I should because it will probably give me a better chance of winning. Not for you guys to feel sorry, but, but to actually encourage people to follow their dreams, but I have seizures, and that's, that's actually, and me to say that, should actually encourage people to follow their goals, because it actually disencourages me sometimes, because people assume that they know what I can and cannot do, and people assume that they think I'm faking it. Like, um, I didn't even get a chance to do my review on Thor Love and Thunder. Well, not only because, um, I actually forgot about the movie a few days later, but because there was one thing that, like, pissed me off out of the entire thing was on my birthday with my twin on a movie that I wanted to watch one of my favorite superheroes a bunch of teens said right in front of me that they think I am faking and that hurting me bad I really want to take it, I really want to be involved in this competition. Not only because I really want to um, meet an awesome person or to like be proud of something or to actually experience being a movie that I wanted to do like for such a long time. But to also, like, bring inspiration to many who, who have been going through like this, and those who are still going through like this. I want to be a role model.
seriously, I had it. Damn, this is the first time I've been like this. I usually don't cry on camera like this. I can't even, it's even a hard for me to cry. Like, okay. I received a second fortune cookie today. Um, because I had Chinese for lunch. Um, especially after a morning of thinking all these kinds of videos of how I should express my horror movie fan side even though I suffer from seizures or not but with me what, watching movies is worth triggering my seizures probably not watching the Batman movie but every other movie I ever watched it was worth it like there are some of us that just, whether if we take meds or not, we just, we just suffer through them. Like, there's really not much we can do about it. We just live through it. And for some of them, we just have to find a way around it or just go through with it, go through the seizure as if it's as if it's just part of like part of our conversation or part of the thing we're doing and sometimes I do because that's why people assume I'm faking because some of my seizures they do look like I'm just being random But uh, no, some of them are really, some of the thing, the unexplained things I do are really just seizures that just can't be controlled. And, well, I just learned to accept it. The only thing that I have trouble accepting is the disencouragement of those who believe that there's certain things I can and cannot do. Well, um, today I received a fortune that said all the effort you are making will ultimately pay off. That made me extremely happy, especially all morning. Um, like, no matter what I was doing, like, cutting bandanas, um, sweeping, I was basically thinking about all the videos I could do expressing my horror movie, um, you know, likings, even though I just mentioned this, but, yeah, it encouraged me more to express my determination while at the same time creativity to win this competition without resorting to um to money to ask some you know to pay someone to promote me to promote promote me like people always um advertise to promote my YouTube which I always refuse because and I even tell them to I even tell them the reason like I refuse to let people promote my YouTube because I want I want you guys to come to my YouTube channel willingly I want you guys to willingly like my videos comment my videos I don't want to force you guys to do what what you don't want to do. It's up to you. So I do not want to pay someone to you know vote for me if you don't actually want to. It's up to you. And well. Uh, the fact that everybody in the competition is creative 
I wanted to express my creativity in my own way, but in a way that I express that, um, that I don't want to do it the fast way, like pay, even though I actually don't have the money to do that. I did it the creative way. Like my Instagram and of course kind of like what you see in movies or at school but when I showed it to my mom um, it kind of disencouraged me and that's how I'm sitting here making this video and now I want to make it smaller because I'm really disencouraged. Um, I'm also making this video because um, probably as a message to whoever watches because I did make another video the day the voting began to express my reasons why I ent my, why I enter my reasons and me saying it in more words the answers to the three questions we have to answer for the competition for a profile because basically I have more words than the answer the um, questions, the answers on my profile itself. So basically, this is like an update. I just wasn't expecting to cry about it. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna do a small version in case um. My sister doesn't want me to, doesn't allow me to have my bigger one um, in her salon. I wanted to put it in the window, but my mom was disencouraging that too. I was going to make small flyers, not with my picture, but just the words. They don't vote for me, but I guess that plan is ruined. I'm pretty sure I'll go back to that plan the next time I get a fortune cookie or if someone encourages me to. Um, I don't know. I'll probably, I'm gonna probably watch shock to post or something once I'm done with this video because well <laughs> I watch most of my horror movies on YouTube if they're available to me well yeah cuz yeah I watch the free ones I don't have a YouTube membership that's why if I did, I would be able to pay for them, but I don't. Um, yeah, let's just say I'm not in the rich neighborhoods. None of my friends are, or my mom's, or my sister's, so. I thought. I thought my creativity in this would be, well, encouraging, but it looked like it was disencouraging today. I'm just gonna hold on to it in case, um, in case it is still, you know, allowed, but. But let's just say my reasons for entering is a lot more meaningful, meaningful than the money. 
13,000 is not really what it used to be. At least that's what my mom said. She said back then money used to be really rich if you had a certain amount. And me, I one time had a thousand bucks to spend. And, well, after I learned my lesson from that, I realized that not even 13000 is a lot. So, the prize money is not my main reason for signing up. It's the, ex it's the fun experience. So, yeah. I'm not even gonna, the money's not even gonna be the first thing on my mind if I would, for when I win, nope, not one bit. I'll be happy that I'll be able to get a sign for Rachel, but I'll be more excited for the other things I get to do and be proud for the things that of the outcome that will happen in the process of those winnings as well but yeah after that experience of a thousand bucks spending yeah thirteen thousand is not something to get over excited about no This is how excited I got to make that. Yeah. I was that confident in making that. Yeah. Now I'm so, not so sure. But it doesn't mean I want to quit the competition. No. I still want to keep going. It's when I lose, I want to stop. But no, I want to keep going until the end of the competition. I hope you watch this to the end. This is probably the most emotional video I ever made. And I'm sorry if it was unexpected. Thanks for watching. Have a nice night. Or day. Bye.